You need to go home and go to bed, man. I do. I didn't get that much sleep yesterday. Because I started bleeding. Are there any ladies in the vortex other than where's retained power? She's the only bitch that can stand my ass. Because <laughs> she's probably the only bitch that I've ever heard that has a more masculine voice than mine. You should check out her channel. She's fucking hilarious. She does these brilliant videos where she pretends to be animals. I told her she should do this shit at the dog park. It would be utterly fascinating. Humans are so fucking annoying and predictable. And you have to wonder, you know, what animals must think of humans and how stupid we are. But yeah, she's pretty cool. This chick I'm talking about. You know what else is pretty cool? Getting free mechanical work. That is the shit. Discount tire is my shit. Okay, and we go to bed. You need to go home and go to bed. Yeah, I got this big ass cup of coffee, right? And then went to my sanctuary again. I walked over there. Discount tires like right across the street, and so I was like, You should utilize the opportunity to go along the crosswalk because it's been such a long time since I have utilized the crosswalk. Most of the time, I think of it as a cross run because that's what I end up doing. <laughs> well, yeah, especially when you don't follow the signs, right? You know, they have like the stop. The stop hand motion. And I say, fuck you. That's my hand motion to you. Crosswalk sign. Retarded man. I'm pretty retarded. I can't tell if they actually like improved my car or not. Because anytime that I have work done on my car, it always feels like they just made it worse. Yeah, because it's going to feel weird. Because you're used to it during, doing a certain thing, and then it, you know, you get work done on it, and then it does something else. Do you guys hear that sound? <sighs> but yeah, they... They said they didn't find any leaks in my car. Like, they, they didn't find leaks in the tire. They said that it was because of my valves. So, I mean, they know what they're talking about. They work at a fucking tire place. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about because I'm always clueless when I go to any kind of automobile shop. But, I guess they call it discount tire for a reason. No, that shit was fucking free, man. I just had to wait around. Not that long. It only took an hour. Okay, so I just saw the lamest church billboard ever. It said, True love was born in a stable. <laughs> lame. Fucking lame. I get it. Jesus was born in the fucking stable. I don't give a fuck, dude. Anyway, I want to show you guys something that I found. It 
sandwiched in between my seat. And what's funny about it is that I was looking for this shit for a long time last night. And I even checked in between the seat. And this shit just disappears. It disappears and then it reappears. And I said to myself last night, you were gonna find that shit. And then you'll be happy that you lost it because then you'll find it. Now I assumed that it would probably be a month before I found it, but it was just the next day. So I guess I got lucky this time. But normally when I lose shit, I find it in a month. But by that point I've already gotten over it, you know? And I'm like, oh yeah, I remember crying about this. <laughs> Yeah, so it is really fucking hot outside. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go. I hate it, and I know I've mentioned this before. I hate it whenever you pull up to an intersection approximately at the exact same time that like somebody else pulls up the intersection, and then you can't figure out who gets to go first. That shit pisses me off. It's annoying. Whoa! That is also annoying, you guys. That's the worst, man. When you're like going over a bump and there's nothing you can do to make the camera steady. Sorry, y'all. Do you hear that swooshing sound? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna back up and then... Okay. That was in neutral. <laughs> oh, he's such a pretty dog. Hold on, hold on. I wanna show you guys what I see. Well, actually, no, I can't. Because it's a. Uh... Yes. Okay, baby. I think that my car is okay. Did y'all just see that pretty ass dog? I know y'all can see my mouth. So can I. I can hear my mouth. My mouth resonates for miles in my own head. Did y'all see that pretty dog? Yeah, I don't think that my car is making that swooshing sound, so that's good. Only time will tell, though, what actually happens with this car. I think it's okay, though. Like, I didn't have like a tire pressure check light come on or anything, but when I started to notice the swooshing sound, I figured that I should get it checked out sooner rather than later. And uh, I got it taken care of like literally the next day after having no sleep whatsoever. anyway I got it taken care of so that I wouldn't fret whenever I travel to work now the cool thing about going to Steak and Shake I don't have to go on the interstate. I could just take the regular ass roads. It would just take me a lot longer to get to work. So I'd have to leave my house earlier, which you know is rough. Um, but uh, I guess now I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, I was gonna go to Nashville, but since it's almost like 11 o'clock, so 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, well shit. 
See, if I left here by 9 o'clock, I could still get there. It just depends on when I wake up. I'm not going to rush, and I'm not going to obsess about it either. Because, I mean, whatever. As long as I go. Like, I'm totally going to go next week for sure. So, have more money. Yeah, you see all that fucking sweat? Jesus Christ, it's hot outside. It is also August, though, so it's to be expected. You know, it's the tail end of the summer. So hopefully, we won't have to deal with this crappy crap any longer. Um, and then I'll be complaining about how cold it is. You know, so... I do prefer the cold weather over the hot weather because at least when it's cold you can um, just put on a bunch of clothes, you know? If I take off too many clothes somebody will start complaining about it and I know that I freaked out the boys at the discount tire because they saw my, my uh, supposed feminism, but that's not what it's about. But I know that that's what people automatically assume if they see a bitch with unshaven underarms. And I get it. I mean, that's typically the reason why, but I'm a, I'm a fucking hippie, though. And if people, like, people got to know me, which I don't know why any of the boys at the discount tire would. It was cool though, because there was this one kid that I used to work with at Wendy's. His name's Dylan. He was the Mormon kid that always talked of suicide. He was working at discount tire, because like I heard my name being called a bunch of times, and I was like, am I fucking hallucinating? And then I turned around, and there he was, uh, pulling out the lug nuts of some motherfucker's tire. I was like, that's pretty damn cool, man. But he seemed like he was a lot happier. I didn't hear him speaking of suicide when he was doing that, so that's good. That's very good, you know? The cool thing about living in this country is if you really hate your job, there are a lot of other jobs that, that you can go, um, go find, go get, go seek out, you know? There's, there's all kinds of work that you can do, and, um... And you have like all these different opportunities, like, you know, to create stuff or to read stuff or uh, talk to people, look at things, you know, you don't, I, I mean, I know that this country is nowhere near as free as people think it is, um, but it's also, um, it is, it is free to the extent that a lot of people complain about it, um, but uh, I think that there's a, there's a lot that you can do here that you can't do other places. Um, sorry, I'm just taking off my jeans because I'm that motherfucking hot. You could just go inside because it's a lot cooler inside than it is in this garage. Yeah, I know, but fuck okay. it. Whoa! Merry Christmas. <laughs> Sometimes I think that God purposely removes stuff and then puts it back where I thought it was, just to fuck with my head. Cause I seriously like walked back to the gas station and like I, <laughs> I walked the same path that I drove last night, thinking that maybe these fell out on my car. And I went up to the tire pressure area and I looked for these and I went up to the gas tank and I looked for these. I, I know I looked retarded to the gas station lady who knows me pretty well because she knew me when I used to come in and buy like two packs of cigarettes. Like 
pretty much every night. <laughs> and she's managed to lose 40 pounds. Isn't that cool? See, self-improvement is totally plausible, y'all. Just a lot of people would rather, you know, continue to fail. Now, everybody makes different decisions about what they choose um, in regards to, like, you know, if, if their problem is, like, obesity or their problem is excessive drug use or their problem is um, smoking too much, vaping too much, talking too much. I mean, we know. <laughs> That's why I don't shoot videos all the time, because I get sick of this. But I just like watched all the videos that I put up. See, that's like my rule. Like I, at some point I have to stop doing videos because like I don't want to get overwhelmed by all the work that I have to do, because I always have a bunch of shit to do. Like the whole time that I was at the discount tire waiting for my tires to get checked out and stuff after I got my giant ass cup of coffee I uh, was like highlighting stuff like I have so many notebooks full of like jokes and so I was like highlighting a bunch of stuff that I thought I could use and like this joke book was from like almost a year ago and I was like fuck it yeah. fuck it fuck it you should go to bed But I don't feel like going to bed though. Not now. Well, that's because you drank that coffee, man. Man. I hate wearing glasses because, like, I always get gunk all over my lenses. And it's really bad when I work the shake station because, like, I'll get milk squirting on my glasses. Milkshake. I mean, I'm a total wreck back there. People will come back, like servers and managers, and they'll get mad at me. Because, like, they come into my station and they get dirty. <laughs> because of me. Like, this one time, I got banana milkshake in my manager's pocket. <laughs> I'll get milkshake on the ceiling. I'll get milkshake all over the refrigerator doors. All kinds of crap will happen when I'm back there. But it's fun though. And the thing is though, people are pretty amazed as like how quickly I can clean up. Mainly because I'm so used to making a mess back there that like I'm really good at, you know, taking care of business. <laughs> Cause it'll be fucking nuts like you'll get like swamped with orders and then you'll have like a brief 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 period to like clean everything up like I'm talking like maybe three minutes tops and then you'll get everything wiped down and then you'll have another major rush and the same thing will happen again so that's cool though man at least it's fun, at least it's interesting, at least it's it's enlightening, at least I come up with revelations the whole time I'm working. I get to talk to God, I get to laugh, I get to quote Pulp Fiction, I get to sing, I get to dance. Um, I usually dance with my with my Hispanic coworker, Tea Fila. Um, cantada, that's what, that's what it means to dance. Um, She has the cutest laugh. <laughs> like I remember when she came back, like I heard her laughing in the break room and I was like, damn Fila. <laughs> Cause she'd been gone for months and she came back cause I heard her laugh. <laughs> she laughs at fucking everything. She's loco. There's nothing wrong with being loco though. I don't think Mexicans take psychiatric drugs either. It's just a white thing, you know? It really is. 
Minorities just aren't targeted the way that white people are. I don't know if they're just trying to kill off white people. I mean, that'd be fine if they were, honestly. They keep talking about, like, white supremacy and shit. Um, I highly doubt that that's it. That might have been that one motherfucker's motivation. Um, but you never know, because the media is, like, so full of shit that you're just like, what the fuck can you even rely on, honestly? Like... It's not like, oh, I watch Fox News. Are you kidding me? Fox News is bullshit, too. They're all bad. They're all bad. I don't have lice. I don't have lice. I just have an itchy scalp. Meow. Anyway, I'm going to end this video because I'm just saying stupid shit and not making any sense and just scratching my head. At least I don't have that hair pulling disorder anymore. I'm trying to like curb my other really negative compulsions I'm, like sticking my finger at my nose and see this is what I do if you must know what I do but it's just because I can get everything out that way but then I start to feel like I don't know if y'all experienced this but I do it, like, with my hands. Like, I, I do it with my nails. Like, if I feel like a hangnail or something like that, or the equivalent of a hangnail, well, that's how it feels in my nose. And so that's why I just continue to, like, dig at the infrastructure of my nose until I completely tear it apart. Um, it's kind of like socialism in that way, if you think about it. Yes, it's exactly like socialism. <laughs> no, but it's bad though. But I feel better, like now that I've been open about it, I feel a lot better because I've addressed it and I've talked about it to a lot of people apparently um, who probably think I'm absolutely disgusting or people that, that stop subscribing to me or, or people that really get it or people that are just like, that's weird, but I'm still going to like her anyway because she's, she's brave. Not really. This is embarrassing because you're not supposed to stick your finger up your nose, but you can do this. It's another orifice. And fucking people stick their fingers up their assholes and nobody questions this shit, okay? Poop comes out of there. See, at least with mucus, you're trying to get the mucus out. It's not like when you're sticking your finger up your butthole, you're trying to get the poop out, you know? Come on, man. <laughs> End this video, please. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to try to go to bed, but, um, I got to go, uh, possibly change my tampon since it's, like, the second day of, of bleeding. It's always super heavy. Um, I know that you guys wanted to know that, you know? Um, the reason why I'm open about that, um, is the same reason why I'm open about taking a shit. It's because, uh, it's totally natural, and if you're weirded out by that, you're weird... Yourself. I, d I just don't understand social norms. I don't understand why people are weird about anything. And I don't think that's just dudes being weird about it. Women are weird about it. I know a lot of women that don't want to be fucked in their periods. I'm like, do you not understand that you would be relieved quite a bit if you just let your boyfriend fuck the shit out of you? They just want to play the victim, though. I swear that's it. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. And, uh, I'll probably be back later. But, uh, probably. Pro most likely, yes. Sometime. Sometime later this week. I'll be back. So, check you, check you later. A lot of people have, like, a signature thing they do. Like, what's that chick? That is Slovenian chick. She always does this, like thing. I don't know what it is. Barbara for you to see. She's so adorable. Uh, Y'all should check out her channel too. She's real funny.
that's a, an example of an immigrant that actually appreciates living here. Um, so, unfortunately, there's there's no like there's no way like if you live in another country like like if you live in Europe or you live in China or you live in Japan or, um, you know, like overseas, you can't you know, just swim across the ocean and get into the country, you know, there's no wall that you can jump, unfortunately, you know. Um, if there was, though, I wouldn't judge you for jumping it. But it sucks, though, that people talk about immigrants, but it's like you're not really talking about all those immigrants that don't have the luxury of being able to, you know, jump over a wall, get over here. So, just saying. Just saying, lots of hypocrisy to go around. So, um, goodbye. I'm done. I'm